Just recently, White House Custom Color actually put out some free templates of gallery displays so that you could easily show them to your customers. They're available through the White House emails, and I assume they also have them right on their website. Well, if we take a look at these templates, they've got some great designs for doing wall galleries. So let's take a look here. I'm going to flip over to Photoshop here, and you can see this is one of their galleries that they created. It's got two 16 by 20s centered around a 2030. You can see they put a graphic element of the couch. What we've got here is they have a seven foot sofa. All of it's very nice. Well, in order to use these templates, I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to do that. We need to go ahead and we need to open up our images that we want to get. Now, I've already got an image open here, so I'm going to make it real simple. With the Layers palette open, I'm just going to drag my background layer onto my wall gallery template. We can now see it's actually loaded right within the template. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop it right above the center image because I want to put this one into the center. What I need to do here in Photoshop is simply go to my Layers palette hold my Alt or Option key, and I'm going to click right in between my Layer 3 and that center image. As you can see, it dropped the image and clipped it to the layer below. Now I need to transform that image. Now we're going to do a Control or Command T, and that opens up our Transform window. Next, we'll do a Command Zero. What I want to do is I'm going to hold my Shift key, and I'm going to start transforming that image. Holding the Shift key constrains the proportions. Use my command plus or minus, and I can zoom that in closer. So now I can take and I can simply hold the shift key, adjust the transform handles, and crop that image how I want to have that appear into my template. There we go. Looks good there. I'm going to go ahead and click my commit button, and you can see that image is now loaded back into that so the customer can get an idea what that looks like. I need to repeat that for each image that I want to bring into my wall gallery. This whole scenario works. But let's face it, it's not easy and something I probably would want to do in front of my customer. Let's take a look at how we can handle this situation right within Pro Select. The first thing we need to do is visit the Time Exposure website. That's timeexposure.com. I've already logged into my account, so we're going to go to the Downloads area. I'm going to go to the Downloads area and select Pro Select Resources. You can choose either PC or Mac here. I'm going to go into the Mac area and I'm going to scroll down on the page. If you look down on the page, you're going to see an area for templates for mounted and matted products. Let's scroll to the bottom and you'll see White House Custom Color. Notice it's free. What I've done is I've already created those White House templates to make them easy to go right into ProSelect. All we're going to do is click the download button. Remember, you do need to be logged into download. I'm going to click to start the download and you can see my file is now downloaded. We'll go to our downloads folder and I have a zip file. All I need to do is double click on the zip file and it opens my WHCC wall groupings.tpk file. You can see there's a little box that looks like ProSelect. What I want to do is I'm going to select that right in Finder or in Windows Explorer if I'm on a PC. I already have ProSelect open, so all I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm just going to drag this down onto my ProSelect icon. You can drag it right into ProSelect and it'll work the same way. It brings up my Import Collection dialog box. It shows that I have eight wall groupings and four rooms that will get imported. I'm just going to simply click the Import button and everything is now loading right into ProSelect. Collection Import Complete, I simply click OK. From here we're going to go to our Working with Layouts mode. I'm going to click this icon here. That brings up all of my different layouts. I want to see just the White House layouts, so I'm going to go into my Information Bar here and we'll click on WHCC Wall Groupings. That shows me all of my available wall groupings I just imported from this collection. If we go ahead and double click on a layout, it brings it up into full screen. Once I have my wall gallery selected, it's as easy as drag and drop. I select the image from my image list, pull it, and drop it into the opening. Select one of our groom alone, and again, drag and drop that image. Let's find one of our bride, and we can pull it right into place. If I want to crop an image, all I have to do is click on the image. You can see it selects it with a gold bar. I hit C for my crop tool, and now I can take, and you can see I can zoom the image up, and I can take and I can move that around. I can use these plus and minus icons on my toolbar, or I can actually use the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard. So I can easily adjust the images. With the images populated, you can easily show the customer what they might envision in their home. But actually, I like to make a couple changes here and make things just a little bit better. Let's go back to our thumbnail view. If you notice here, I have two templates of the same layout. 
one where I've included the sofa, and one where I haven't. This layout is actually a pro select wall grouping. I don't want to go through and actually have to drag the images in again, so all I have to do is simply take this layout, I can drop it on top, and now my images are populated exactly the same way. Well, now what we can do is we can see the customer images right from here. If I go to my select size view, this is where I can actually show the images to the customer actual size, assuming I have a projector and screen hooked up to my pro select. But we can also go through and we can take and we can use it in room view. Now room view allows us to be able to take and show the images in different rooms. Well, I created the rooms here for the sofa. So what we can do is here's one I just created that had a yellow wall on it. I'm going to go to my layouts tab and now I can pull this in there so the customer can get an idea again to see it in a room situation. Well, we can also go through and we can use that in various other situations. Let's go here and here's a room. This room is part of our room collection three. I want to take and drag this out on the wall so now the customer can see exactly what it looks like in a room situation above a fireplace. If we have a photograph of the customer's home, we can bring that into ProSelect and we can show it to the customer exactly how it'll look when it gets in their home. Let's take a look at another layout here. So we'll go back to our layouts, go to our thumbnail view, and here's ones where we've actually created our staircase collection. Let's go ahead and create our staircase wall grouping. All I have to do is drag it up into my working area and we're ready to start populating with images. Populating the template is quick and easy because all I have to do is drag an image and drop it into an opening. Pull this one right over into here and let's go down and we'll add this image here. At this point, I'm not really worried about adding cropping into the images. I want to just drop them in there and then I'm going to refine things just a little bit later. Let's add a family grouping in here. And let's move to our maybe tab and we've got just a couple more areas that we need to populate. Let's add another image of the family, one of mom and dad, and we'll add in grandma and grandpa. At this point, we can refine the cropping. I can select an image, hit C for my crop tool, and I can take and I can pull the images into various positions. I can make adjustments, I can zoom them in or out, and all of my cropping is done very, very quickly and easily, all right within ProSelect. If I want to project the image actual size, I can go to my select size view and that shows all of the images. If I want to show the image in a room situation, we'll go to our working with rooms, select our thumbnail view, and we can bring in a photograph of the customer's home. I'll choose the staircase, show my layouts, and I can simply pull the layout onto the room so we can see precisely how it's going to look when everything is sized. If I want to add frames around the images, I can go to my frames. We'll go ahead and we can add a small wood frame around each one of the images. Now we can show how all the images look in the room, all precisely framed. If I had a staircase that was flipped the other way, all I have to do is reverse my layout, and you can see how it keeps all of my images populated the same positions, same cropping, no work to simply be able to take and flip and adjust the layout to be able to show my customer exactly how the images are going to look when displayed in their home. In this video, I've shown you just one small snippet of ProSelect. ProSelect is not a tablet app, but a full-fledged presentation, sales, and workflow solution. It not only sells, it saves you time by helping you to work more efficiently. With ProSelect, we didn't invent in-person sales, we just perfected it. For time exposure and ProSelect, I'm Ron Nichols.